हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ अ लेक्चर ऑन रेस्टिंग मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज रेस्टिंग मेम्ब्रेन पोटेंशियल कंसिडर दिस इज अ सेल एंड दिस इज अ सेल मेम्ब्रेन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज द आउटर लिमिटिंग मेम्ब्रेन फॉर द सेल विल एक्सपैंड दिस द सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज मेड अप ऑफ लिपिड बाई लेयर and it has integral proteins these integral proteins can act like carrier channels pumps and we also know there is uneven distribution of electrolytes across the cell with more of sodium outside the cell more of chloride outside the cell and more of potassium within the cell the concentration of sodium is more outside the cell the concentration of potassium is more inside the cell and there is sodium potassium atps pump functioning all the time to pump three sodium ions out actively and two potassium ions into the cell actively so because of the action of this sodium potassium atps pump more of positive charges are pumped when compared to the number of positive charge that are pumped inside three positive charge is pumped for two positive charge that is pumped inside so that will create a negativity within the cell so this accounts to around minus 4 millivolt negativity within the cell this is by the action of sodium potassium atps pump pumping more positive outside compared to inside the cell membrane is also having integral proteins which are more permeable for potassium ions compared to sodium ions so potassium ions along the concentration gradient it can move out of the cell even at rest so these integral proteins acts like leaky channels leaky channels through which the potassium ions are moving from the cell into the exterior whereas there are certain proteins which are present within the cell which are non diffusible non diffusible anions so whenever this potassium is moving out of the cell this is not accompanied by the movement of negatively charged proteins so only the positive charge is moving from the cell into the exterior whereas the negative charge within the cell will get accumulated so inside the cell becomes more and more negative with the movement of potassium from the cell to the exterior so because of this continuous leakage of potassium channels the cell membrane interior will become more and more negative it can go up to minus 90 millivolt so the resting membrane potential is nothing but a constant or a steady potential difference across the cell membrane before stimulated or when the cell membrane is at rest so this is resting membrane potential a steady potential difference across the cell membrane before the cell membrane is stimulated with any sort of stimulus so this consider this is the cell membrane and because of the presence of pump three sodium ions are pumped out two potassium ions are pumped in so this will create some negativity inside the cell and also continuous leakage of potassium ions and presence of protein ions inside will create negativity so that is why the resting membrane potential is negative and it can vary up from 70 millivolt as of neuron resting membrane potential is minus 70 millivolt and in case of skeletal muscle it is around minus 90 millivolt the negativity is inside the cell it is more negative when compared to the outside so how can you explain with an experiment you can just see see when you place two micro electrodes over the surface of the cell and connect it to a galvanometer 
there won't be any deflection so there is no potential difference exists between these two areas when two electrodes are placed over the surface of the cell when the two electrodes are placed over the surface of the cell and connected to a galvanometer there is no deflection there is no current passage there is no potential difference existing between these two surfaces but if at all if you place one electrode over the surface and one electrode into the cell and connect this to the galvanometer then there is a passage of current and there is a deflection seen so there exists potential difference across the cell membrane so this potential difference existing across the cell membrane at rest is resting membrane potential with more negativity inside the cell and positive outside the cell in case of this diagram there is no potential difference across these two areas which are extracellular region so this is about the resting membrane potential and what is the ionic basis for resting membrane potential why the resting membrane potential is negative inside this is because of the two or three reasons explained one is the role of the sodium potassium atps pump pumping out more positive charge from the cell to the exterior creating negativity inside second reason is the permeability of the cell membrane for potassium is more compared to that of sodium and there are leaky potassium channels which will continuously efflux the potassium from the cell into the exterior and because of the presence of non diffusible anions these will remain within the cell that accounts for negativity within the cell so in to summarize the one reason for resting membrane potential negative is sodium potassium atps pump activity the second reason is selective permeability of cell membrane the cell membrane is more permeable to potassium when compared to sodium and along the concentration gradient potassium is moving out of the cell through leaky channels leaky potassium channels and the third reason is presence of non diffusible anions like proteins which are negatively charged within the cell itself so this accounts for negativity thank you